Good evening hyperspinners. Today I'm going to talk through the emulator Fusion and this will help you set up at least five Sega systems so get ready. All right, guys, so let's uh, talk Fusion. Uh, this is a basically one-stop shop for many Sega systems. And uh, to kind of see the compatibility here, uh, if you go to your Hyperspin root folder, Rocket Launcher, Modules, and then Fusion, if you open up your Fusion Auto Hotkey, you'll see all of your supported systems. So you can see once you get this set up, you're gonna have Sega 30, uh, 32X, Sega CD, Sega Game Gear, Sega Genesis, Sega Master System, and uh, yeah, the Sega SG-1000 and uh, SC-3000. So it, this is really your one-stop shop, guys. Um, and uh, yeah, let's get started. So in the module, uh, you can see the URL that you can get the uh, most compatible emulator version that Rocket Launcher supports, which is 3.64. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, slap this in the browser here. Um, you, you could use either URL, but I'll put the, uh, the links in the description below. And it'll take you to this site here. And what you'll do is just scroll down here at the very bottom and you'll select 3.64 and you'll download that. And then what we'll do is we'll put that in our emulators folder like we always do and you'll create a folder for fusion and you'll just unzip it in here uh, you will notice a couple extra things that are in here uh, specifically for uh, sega cd uh, and uh, you know this will be a later video on add-ons but this sega q maker basically allows you to take some of the games that you get and uh, that have audio tracks I believe uh, Sonic uh, CD has some sound issues until you, uh, you know, create a Q file for that. So it looks at your tracks, uh, but we'll talk through that at a later time. So let's go ahead and uh, get Fusion set up. So once you've uh, unzipped the contents into your Fusion folder, uh, what we're going to do is first, like always, we're going to open up HyperHQ. And we are going to create these systems here. So as a guide, I'm just going to have this Fusion Auto Hotkey uh, up because I want to make sure I hit all of these uh, systems uh, bases. And you'll go to your main menu wizard. You'll click the plus sign and then you will click the, uh, the system has a sub wheel. Once you've done that, you will type in, uh, we'll say Sega SG 1000 first and the tabs that you see here once you are congratulated for setting that up you select Sega SG 1000 and you can see the setup that I have here we just have the command line of uh, hyper launch XE Sega SG 1000 and then the ROM name everything is disabled and disabled at the top here wheel I've got the alpha uh, default based on my custom setup Themes, I've always got the animated uh, default themes out and reload, and then I've got wheels only. Uh, it doesn't matter here, but in case you only have specific games uh, and specific wheels, that could be handy, but I've got the full uh, media set. And videos, that's your default. Uh, you don't need to worry about that. And your special art, if you have special art, you will modify this to your liking. And we'll move on to the next uh, setup here. So uh, that's the SG-1000. Sega Mark is a different emulator here. I'm gonna go down to, it looks like Sega Master System uh, next. And what you'll do is you'll push the plus sign again on the main menu wizard. You'll type in Sega Master System, create a sub wheel, and it'll congratulate you. And when you go back to the wheel settings, you will find this tab again. And what you'll do is fill this out based on what you see here. Hyper launch is false. Uh, disabled, or sorry, is true. And disabled is true. And you'll 
find the executable for Fusion, where you uh, unzipped your exe, and then you'll find the game paths. And then the extensions are going to be zip, comma, SMS. Again, this is uh, important only if you are looking forward to using uh, HyperXML Spin to create playlists. Uh, so might as well do the work now so you don't have to mess with it later. And uh, yeah, so zip and SMS are the extensions here. You're gonna set up the exact same thing as what we were just talking about under wheel, navigation themes, we got backgrounds and animated out. Video is just the standard default uh, folder for your media uh, system video. And then your special art that you're gonna customize. So that knocks that system out. And we're gonna scroll down here and we'll get the next uh, Sega bit here. So we got Sega Genesis. Again, you're gonna push the plus sign under main menu and you will say uh, subwheel and then you'll go to the wheel settings tab and select sega genesis and under the emulators tab you will have hyper launch set disabled set and you'll have fusion again the game pass you'll have uh, enabled for both of these and then the extensions are going to be zip and uh, comma gen and you'll set up all of these other tabs here Based on everything that we've already done, you're going to keep everything uniform, so everything is going to be the same. And we're going to scroll down and do the next one. Uh, so let's see here. It should be Sega 32, maybe. Oh, S Sega Game Gear. So uh, you're going to push main menu wizard again, push the plus sign, say sub wheel, and then you're going to go to wheel settings again. You're going to click Sega Game Gear. You're going to say hyper launch, disable, fusion is the path, uh, game is the location of your games, enabled for both of these, hidden win state, and your extensions are going to be zip and comma gg. You're going to update all of the tabs again based on everything that you've already done uh, for your other systems. And we're going to move on to the next one. So we're knocking these things out. Uh, Sega CD. Um, I will have the caveat that uh, you will have to use uh, QMaker uh, to get some of your games to sound uh, or display sound. So just kind of keep that in mind. We'll talk through that uh, at a later time. But you're going to set that to Hyper Launch, Disable, Set Fusion, and Set the Game Paths, Enable for both. And then your extensions are going to be ISO, comma bin, comma Q. Then you're going to update all of the other tabs based on the exact same settings that you have for all your other systems. We're going to breeze through that. Next we've got the Sega 32. Uh, there we go, Sega 32. We're almost done here guys. You're going to push the plus sign under main menu wizard. You're going to select executable, uh, or sorry, uh, sub wheel. And then you're going to go to wheel settings after you're congratulated. Select Sega 32X. And we're gonna go to the emulator. We're gonna hyper launch and disable. Fusion is the path. Set your game path. And then enable for both of these. And your extensions are zip, comma, 32X. You're gonna update all of these other tabs to match your other systems. And then you're gonna move on. So I think there might be one more here. Uh, let's see. Sega Master System, 32, CD, it looks like, no, I think that's it guys. So the Sega Saturn is a different emulator, so uh, we're gonna not cover that one in this video. And Sega Dreamcast is also a different emulator. So yeah, we have uh, all of the Sega systems uh, under this Fusion uh, setup in Hyperspin in terms of the media folders. So uh, we're golden there. So what I'm gonna do is uh, X out of HyperHQ. And then what I'm going to do is invite you to Hyperspin and uh, go to the download section under uh, console systems or handhelds and you'll be able to find a lot of the media already available to you. If it's not uh, on this site, then you should check out the FTP uh, for platinum members uh, only. And uh, if you don't have a Platinum membership, then definitely check out 
my giveaway that's uh, expiring on uh, September 1st. You have a chance of getting a Emmy or a Emmy Movies uh, supporting member uh, valued at 60 bucks and a Hyperspin uh, Platinum membership valued at 50 bucks, all for free. Uh, you got to be as a subscriber and uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter, basically. So there's really not a whole lot to do. Uh, so next week, that's the media. Uh, what we're going to do is also go to Hyperlist to get all of the XML. So you're just going to scroll down and find your Sega systems and then click the XML uh, button here to get those uh, downloads. And you're going to drop those uh, XML files in the database folder. You'll find the system that you just created because the Hyper uh, HQ creates that stuff for you. So you would go to Sega Genesis and drop the XML file in this folder. And so what we're going to do next is once you've downloaded all, uh, all of the XMLs and you've got your media, uh, your media will go under media. You'll find your system. Sega Genesis uh, is an example. You'll put in your images, you'll put in your box art um, or your cart arts. Chances are in Artwork 3 or Artwork 4, depending on what your theme uh, displays. And uh, yeah, and then in your wheel art, of course, and your themes, your videos. Uh, so let, let's kind of move on here. So once you've done that, then what we're going to do is we're going to go to Rocket Launcher UI and we're going to set up fusion as a global emulator i'm going to go ahead and scroll down to uh, fusion and i'm under global i'm under the emulator tab and if you don't see this go ahead and push the plus sign and uh, you'll find a window that looks like this i just double click that you'll type in fusion if it's not already there you'll find the path of your fusion emulator and you'll use the magnifying glass your ROM extension is 7Z, SG, GG, SMS, Gen, 32X, MD, ISO, Q, BIN, ZIP, IMG, CCD. So there's quite a bit on here, uh, but it covers literally like seven or eight systems. Uh, the module is going to be Fusion, and you're going to close that out. Next, you're going to go to each one of those systems that we just set up here. So. Uh, this should be uh, relatively quick, guys, but let's uh, let's do this. So your first system was uh, Sega SG-1000. Under the settings folder, what I've got here, I'm going to branch this out here so it's cleaner here for you. I've got everything set to uh, global settings. If you haven't already, check out my Rocket Launcher uh, video that shows you what these global settings mean. Uh, but so I've got 7Z set to true, and I've got skip check set to false. Everything else is set to global. I'm gonna to go to fade general next. Looks like everything's global, so you're good there. And we're gonna check bezels. So I've got everything set to global here, so that means it will display a bezel. We're gonna move on to the emulators tab. So you're gonna find the path of your games, hit the plus sign, default emulator you're going to select fusion from the mag magnifying glass it also looks like i tried uh, setting up uh, blue msx and uh, that is an alternative uh, emulator uh, you can set that up now while you're here or you can wait till that video uh, rises um, so that is your sega sg so what we're going to do is we're going to move on to uh, the next system here and we are going to go to Sega Master System. Again, you're going to, under the emulator tab, we've got the path to your games. And we've got the emulator set to Fusion. Then we've got Settings. We are in the Bezel tab. Everything is default. And we're going to go to Fade General. Looks like everything is set to default. Uh, use Global making things real easy for you guys to set up. The skip checks is set to false, it looks like, in the main settings tab. And it looks like, yep, everything's set to global. So 
Sega Master System is uh, a piece of cake uh, to set up there. And let's see. So we've got Sega CD, or we'll, we'll do Sega, we'll just work down from the list here so we don't miss anything. So we got Sega 32. Everything's set to global, it looks like. And skip checks is set to false. Then we've got uh, Fade General. We've got all that set to global. So we're good there. Bezels are set to global. In the emulator tab, we've got your game path. And then we've got Fusion as the default. You can see there, it's a lot of redundancy, guys. But uh, I want to be thorough here and show you each one of these tabs. Uh, under Sega CD, we're going to go to settings. We're going to go to main settings. Everything is set to global. And it looks like 7Z is set to true. And then the skip checks is set to false. Under fade general, it looks like everything's set to global default. Bezel is set to global. And then emulators, I've got set to fusion. You're also going to notice I've got a game path for hack games. Uh, this will be later covered in a uh, later video. Uh, but you've got your game paths uh, there. And you're going to move on to Sega Game Gear. Um, next, we're going to go to settings, main settings. Everything looks like it's default to global. And skip checks is set to false. We're going to go to fade general. Everything's set to global. Bezels are set to global, so you're good there. And the default emulator is Fusion and uh, your game path. You can see a lot of redundancy, guys. Uh, so Sega Genesis set to Fusion. That's all set. Uh, Bezels uh, to, uh, use global. Let's see. Uh, Sega Genesis, it looks like I've got the hide the front end set to true. Uh, everything else looks to be set to global. And skip checks is set to false. And your fade general looks good. We're going to move on to Sega Masters. I believe we already covered. Uh, let's see. So we're almost done here. Uh, well, just for fun, let's just breeze through this just to be safe. Yeah, global. Uh, skip false. That's for Sega Masters. Everything's set to global here. And bezels set to global, your emulators fusion and the game path, so that's good. And Sega 1000. All right, so we've covered a lot of things in Rocket Launcher, guys, and it's all very redundant. It's all basically the same setup, but you literally have just set up a good handful of systems and have a lot of uh, fun there. So uh, now let's actually get to the emulator part. Uh, Thank you for bearing with me going through that. And it looks like we've got to launch this emulator. So uh, since we're here, I'm under modules, uh, SG-1000, but any of those other systems will also work. Uh, Fusion, auto hotkey, I'm gonna hit the little paper uh, uh, for the notes. I'd uh, read through this uh, specifically uh, for Sega CD, uh, but I'm gonna take you through some of these uh, settings here in Fusion. Uh, it's always good to read through the notes uh, for your emulator just so you know what's going on. And I'm going to launch this emulator. So what you see here is uh, we've got a host of options here um, under file, but uh, there's nothing that we actually need to set up here. Maybe Netplay if you're interested in that, um, but yeah, I don't have that set up. Uh, we're going to go to video. I've got Windows side set to 640. Full screen uh, resolution, you can uh, you know, change things as will, as you will. Uh, I do have things uh, set with a bezel, so I kind of keep that in mind. Scan lines, I've got zero, you can pick your poison there. Um, and then I've got normal mode, fixed uh, aspect ratio, and filtered set to check, and NTSC. Uh, aspect as well uh, checked. For sound I've got 41,000 uh, checked and for options I've got perfect sync. Now uh, what's going to be interesting for you guys is some systems uh, basically want you to have perfect sync on. It's 
just how you boot uh, the game. Others uh, do not like perfect sync. So uh, the emulation isn't perfect, uh, meaning you've got to decide uh, when perfect sync is necessary. And I'll show you kind of how to do that uh, in just a moment in Rocket Launcher. But uh, you can see Control-P will basically say, I want perfect sync to uh, be turned on when I launch a game. Or if I want it off, then I, I don't have that on there. But Rocket Launcher will also do this for you. Uh, so if you've got a game that is a black screen, then definitely try Perfect Sync turned on and then launch the game again uh, because it might work. It, some of those games require that Perfect Sync to be turned on. So Country, I've got USA, Auto Detect, CD Drive, I've got none. Uh, let's see anything else yeah we're good there and what we're gonna do is uh, the most important part is set config uh, up you can see SMS uh, and Game Gear this is that tab specifically you're gonna find the uh, SXM files you're gonna just go straight to your emulators folder Sega and then Fusion uh, 30 or 364 uh, save states you're gonna go to your Sega Fusion uh, 364 file uh, path. Uh, your SMS uh, patch, you're going to go to your uh, Fusion uh, 364 uh, SMS patch. Uh, and your Game Gear, you're going to go to your emulators, Sega, Fusion uh, 364, and then uh, GG patch. So here, I'm going to pull this up just to kind of show you guys here. We're going to go to uh, Sega Fusion 64. So there's a couple patches here. So, um, you know, it's just uh, improving the game itself. And, uh, yeah. So next we're going to go to uh, uh, GG Zoom. You're going to check that. We're going to move on to Genesis. And what you're going to do is put in the SRM files, which is Sega um, SRM. There's a folder there. Save states. Uh, what I try to do is always put something in the Rocket Launcher folder under data, save states, and then the system name. So everything's nice and neat. Uh, patch files. What you're going to do is go to emulators, Sega, patch. And yeah, it, the, the BIOS file field, uh, you don't need to put in there. Uh, Rocket Launcher is going to do all that for you. And then the autofix uh, checksums is set to check. We're going to move on to Sega CD. You're going to put in the path to your BIOS, which is uh, Fusion, and then the name of the bin, uh, which is there. And then the Japanese, it's going to be f uh, under the emulators folder, Fusion, and then the name of the bin. Next is the European. You're going to uh, go to emulators, fusion, and then the name of the bin. And then the BRM files, you're going to go to emulators, uh, your game path, Sega CD, and then your file state, or your state files, I should say. You're going to go to your game files and your Sega CD folder. I've got things set to four times per game and then off for CD uh, G and we're gonna move on to 32x so um, this first path it doesn't look like it's even used uh, on my system uh, but you are looking for those bios uh, if you need it uh, your master bios you're gonna use uh, emulators fusion and then the name of your bios and we're gonna move on. So controllers. Something that I found guys is you will want to uh, basically make your INI uh, file read only uh, to prevent Rocket Launcher from accidentally changing your uh, settings here. So what we're gonna do is uh, go to the emulator folder. We're gonna go down to Fusion and then you're gonna see a Fusion INI file uh, which is here and you're gonna see that I've got it set to read only so it doesn't mess up my controls. But basically you're just gonna right click that, uh, go to properties and select read only once you're done before you launch this from Rocket Launcher. Otherwise it might screw up your controllers. 
So go ahead and uh, select port one. I've got six button pad and then use keyboard. You push the define button and then you just go through and press the keys that you want it to be set up as. Then you're gonna go to port two. You're gonna do the exact same thing for player two. You're gonna select keyboard and then define. You're gonna click all the buttons for your uh, system for uh, Genesis 32X and Sega CD. And then you're gonna do the same thing for the master system and game gear. So you're gonna click the controller pad, keyboard, press define, select your keys, do that for port two as well. And then if you've got light guns, check the light gun cursor here. Uh, and then we've got uh, the extras. So if you want screenshots, just go to your Sega Fusion 36 or 364 folder. Uh, and that is where your screenshots will go. And I've got TGA set up and corrected set up as well. And that is it guys. So I know that was a mouthful. I try to talk a little faster than usual, just so we can get it all done in a short period of time, but you just got uh, yourself served a good handful of uh, systems. So I hope that helps you guys and uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Oh, humble apologies guys. I did forget to show you one item uh, around perfect sync. So uh, once you go to modules, a good example here is uh, Sega Genesis. If you go to modules and then fusion and then go to your little edit global module setting icon with the little paper uh, orange header, I'm going to press that and you're going to see a couple options here and uh, basically uh, everything's set to default and perfect sync is also set to default uh, but just something to kind of keep in mind if you go to the ROM settings folder and I'm not going to go through each one of the uh, systems uh, in general here because uh, you know it, it's all going to look the same. You, you just got to ultimately get the games that you want to launch via Perfect Sync here. You just push the plus sign here and a couple of good examples of Perfect Sync needing to be uh, set to true is uh, Batman and Robin, uh, uh, Bram, Dracula, Cliffhanger, uh, you'll just kind of have to experiment you know as you go so if you run into a black screen go ahead and just add that game to uh, your settings here by pushing the plus sign and selecting the game and selecting to true uh, let's see here so let me just see those notes again here and we'll just look through the system yeah so sega cd is uh, a good example here so i'm going to sega cd modules fusion and then we're going to the modules uh, setting tab here and everything set to default. You can see the exact same uh, setup uh, that we were just talking about. If you go to ROM settings again, push the plus sign and find your game that needs to run in perfect sync. You're going to select uh, you know, Battle Corps, for example, and then you're going to say select sync set to true. Uh, so that's it uh, for real, guys, this time. And uh, we'll catch you next time.